Good morning, good morning, good morning. It is Monday morning and I'm jumping around for some reason. If you're watching this on YouTube, hello. If you're watching this on podcast, hello again. And I keep saying hello. Why do I stop it? Just get on with it. Okay, so it's Monday morning. It is episode 132. And I, my friends, have been so, so excited about this episode. Now, this is something from It's a State of Mind. I am interviewing the guy, James Boardman, on Wednesday this week. I cannot wait for you to listen to this episode. James drops absolute nuggets. And one of the things he said, I'm actually out of breath. I'm actually out of breath. I'm jumping around. One of the things he said today, I'm, I'm going to delve into today. It was my biggest takeaway. It was my aha moment. And if you like, I could really relate it to myself. And I'm going to share my experience and a knock-on effect one bad decision has when you make it. And it's not just a one bad decision, it's a multiple of bad decisions. So I'll get to that in just a second. If you haven't already done so, I would love a subscribe. I would love a rating and review. That matters a whole host to me. I'm trying to get in the UK top 10, the American top 10, or wherever you're from, and the reviews really, really help. So if you haven't already done so, that would be absolutely amazing if you could. Okay, so today's nugget, today's nugget, comes from James Broadman's book and it's absolutely stunning and all he says is one bad choice one bad decision leads to another bad decision one bad choice equals another bad choice what the f does that mean Dean it's simple it's momentum I talk about momentum so much like Monday mornings if you have a momentum if you win the first hour when you get up I promise you the momentum takes you through to the next hour you have that positive feeling you have a sense of achievement and you keep achieving and achieving and achieving if you win the first couple of hours at work then you'll win the morning if you win the morning by golly by golly you'll win the afternoon as well if you win Mondays you win Tuesdays it's momentum it's momentum and choices and decisions are exactly the same one bad choice leads to another bad choice I'll give you an example for me when football was on I love a beer and what did I do I, I opened the beer I had one too many beers this was on a week night this was a school night and the first beer yeah no problem the second beer no problem but then going on and on and on having more and more drink what does it do that's a bad choice and then what happens I didn't get up at the 5 a.m. I normally like to get up I got up at 7 a.m. and I was already behind on my day I looked at my to do my journal I, I haven't actually got it heal me I looked at my journal I realized I was miles behind I hadn't done what I wanted to do at the five o'clock to seven o'clock mark and then what happens I don't go for a run it's the first time in ages I didn't go for a run and why it's because of that decision last night to have another drink and another drink and did it affect me yes was I did was I impacting the day was I was I achieving what I wanted to achieve the next day no absolutely not and it, it snowballed all the way through the day and in the end I just realized that I haven't got nowhere near as done what I wanted to do and don't get me wrong I didn't have loads and loads of drinks at all I just had probably one too many and that just that little little one impacted the rest of my day not only that my good friend Phil Skiff I was supposed to be going and having a little drink with him on the next evening we were supposed to be getting having a little meeting in, in one of his offices and was going to have a chat at 7 30 what did I do I cancelled because you know what all I wanted to do was curl up in bed and get a good night's sleep my Amora ring told me I scored in the 60s all from that one bad decision and would I have gone to gym if I was going to gym? No, would I heck it like? And what happens? My eating was out. Every single thing was out. And all of a sudden, when I listened to James uh, on his uh, for his book, I just thought, oh my goodness, that is so true. And normally, I wouldn't relate all that to one bad decision. But a lot of your bad decisions, I promise you, comes from one, stems from one initial decision. So the idea here is that you've just got to be aware of the decisions you'll make. And it's okay to make one bad decision, but don't compound it by making a second and a third and a fourth and a fifth because it's momentum. Life is momentum. And the more decision, bad decisions we make, the more bad decisions we'll make again in the future. So what we need to do is realize and think, what is the reason we made that bad decision? For me, I know exactly what it was. I was watching football and I love a beer when I'm watching football. But why? It's because I was enjoying it so much and then it, it just snowballed. But you've got to realize, you've got to stop it. You've got to stop it you've got to stop it at its source and realize do you know what yes it was good to have more but however many beers you want have a plan have a system have a strategy and realize when it becomes a bad decision when enough is enough for me I should have just stopped it when it was full time boom stop go to bed but no what did I want to do I wanted to have another one because I was enjoying myself and I'm not saying that drink or anything like that but I'm saying that 
I don't know, a bad decision maybe when your friends ask you for a drink after work. And yeah, that's okay. But what does that bad decision entail? It then stops you putting your kids to bed. And then you're home later. Then you eat later. And then you get up later. Then you don't start the day the next day. You don't start with fitness. I'm saying that every decision has consequences. So you've got to be aware of every decision you make because all your decisions will have knock-on effects in your future life, your future use life. Do you know what? When I was having that, that, that extra drink, I was thinking, it's okay. I'll deal with it tomorrow. Future Dean will deal with that. But no. Present Dean has to protect future Dean. Present you has to protect future you. So you are the gatekeeper. Only you are aware of the decisions you make. And as long as you are aware of the consequences, if you don't hit the gym today, does that mean that you'll get in a negative mindset and you won't hit the gym tomorrow? You'll put it off and off and off. And then one day becomes two, two weeks from three, one week, then it's a month. And then before you know it, you don't go to the gym anymore. You're paying a membership and you don't go to the gym anymore. So all I am saying, Please just be aware of the decisions you make because they have massive compounding effects in your future. Okay, tomorrow's episode, I'm really, really excited because I am going to talk to you about a mistake that Zach made and how proud I was of him after making that mistake. And it's probably something that is very, very personal. I did question whether to share it or not, but I also want I believe that my kids will be watching these one day. I can feel myself sweating because <laughs> I feel a bit uneasy. But I know Zach will be watching this one day and I want to relate to him how proud I was of this one moment. And it's only a little moment in time, but it meant so much to me. It showed me a, a bit, big bit of his character. So I'm going to share that with you in the next episode tomorrow morning. I'm really, really excited about that because it's just... It's okay to make mistakes. We all make mistakes, but it's how we handle the mistakes that really counts. And I'm going to get into that tomorrow. I'm really, really excited about that. So tomorrow's episode is Zach's mistake at school. And uh, yeah, very personal. But do you know what? Let's share. Let's uh, be open and honest. I told you about my mistake. Drinking too much beer. <laughs> right. Okay, my friends. Thank you so much for tuning in. And don't forget to leave a written review. That'll be amazing.